I'm about to show you how to make three months of quality social media content in three hours using a five step framework with ChatGPT. And this won't be like other creators talking about how to make unlimited content in five minutes with ChatGPT. The ChatGPT methods other people talk about just create super generic copy paste content that sounds like it came from an AI, which ultimately hurts your brand because your content will be dry, boring, and make you look stupid because it's obviously AI written and it shows that you can't think for yourself. But with the ChatGPT method that took me hundreds of hours to learn that I am about to show you, it's not only going to make you months worth of content in a few hours, it's going to be personalized in a way that is specific to you, makes you stand out, and grows your social media following while making you more sales. And I know this because I went from a Domino's pizza driver who knew nothing about social media to growing my total following to over 540,000 people in under three years and hitting $100,000 months. But with this method that I'm about to show you, you can probably do it much faster. Now, the number one mistake most creators make when trying to use ChatGPT to create content is that they don't know what makes for good content to begin with. And because they don't understand it, they can't give ChatGPT the inputs it needs to create quality outputs. So I need to quickly run you through what quality content is, or you won't be able to use this ChatGPT method effectively. So think about why you follow or buy from anyone on social media. You know, like, and trust them, at least to some degree. So to find you on social media, they have to know about you. To follow you on social media, they have to like you. And to buy from you, they have to trust you. And after creating tens of thousands of pieces of content and helping dozens of people grow their social media by tens and even hundreds of thousands of followers, I created a content framework that does just that. I call it the GAP framework. The G stands for growth content, content that gets people to know about you. The A stands for authority content, content that gets people to trust you. And the P stands for personal content, content that gets people to like you. And this is why other people who teach ChatGPT frameworks for content simply don't work. They think volume of content is what matters, but they don't consider quality, nor do they know how to make quality content. So what exactly is this framework and how can we use it with ChatGPT? Well, I'll release a separate video breaking down the GAP framework in detail, but with the ChatGPT prompts I'm about to show you, you'll get a good understanding of it. And by the way, after you watch this video, there's a link in the description you can use to copy paste these prompts into ChatGPT to make your life easier. So the first step in how to use ChatGPT to make three months of social media content in three hours is to enter this first prompt into ChatGPT word for word. Please read this, and once you understand, reply with the word yes. A personal brand that grows on social media has three core elements I call the GAP framework. The GAP framework consists of one, growth content, two, authority content, three, personal content. When you create these three types of content, it bridges the gap from a stranger to a diehard fan. It's broken down like this. Growth content is when you talk about popular trends or figures. This leverages people's interest and drives traffic to your profile. For example, if I was a fitness coach when ChatGPT was trending, I could create content on how to use ChatGPT to create a nutrition plan, or I could break down Arnold Schwarzenegger's workout routine. Since people in your niche have an interest in the growth content you're talking about, you're going to get more interest and reach. The a in the GAP framework is authority content. This is content that shows your competence at what your account is centered around. So things like content that shows people how to solve their pain points or reach their goals, lessons and tips and case studies. When you create this type of content, you incentivize people to follow you because you're actively helping the market by giving actionable information. Now, the third pillar of the GAP framework is personal content. Personal content is when you talk about the things that make you unique, your personal stories, your worldviews, your personal opinions, on life or the industry you are in. When you create personal content, you build a deep connection with your audience. And more importantly, you build an audience of true fans who adore you. Reply with yes once you read and understand this. So we follow this first step because ChatGPT will now have a clear context on what makes for good content and set us up for the next crucial step. The second step in how to use ChatGPT to make three months of social media content in three hours is to give it specific information about you. This is going to be the difference between generic AI sounding content and personalized content that builds a die hard fan base. So 
give ChatGPT information about yourself by entering the following prompt. Here's some information about me. Authority, list out any bullet points on your accomplishments, social proof, and results you've gotten for yourself or clients. Personal, list out as many bullet points on your personal worldviews, opinions, and interesting things you've experienced. Once you understand, reply with the word yes. Now, ChatGPT will have specific information about you it can use when we get close to the final step in the framework. But for now, let's move on to step three. So the third step in how to use ChatGPT to make three months of social media content in three hours is to give it information about your target audience. And this is crucial because the better understanding you have about who you're trying to reach on social media, the better the output you're going to get from ChatGPT in the final step. And if you don't know who your target audience is, do some research on the type of person you are trying to attract on social media. Once you have this information, give ChatGPT the following prompt. My target audience is, insert details about your target audience, i.e. gender, age, occupation, goals, pain points, typical day in the life, and current situation. Once you understand, reply with the word yes. Now, what you're about to see next will blow your mind. And if you want to double the amount of content it produces with written content with a little extra effort, keep watching because I'll show you a cool trick near the end. But before I share this, if you're enjoying the video so far, click that like button. It helps my video rank better in the YouTube algorithm and helps me educate others for free instead of paying tens of thousands of dollars for a degree. And if you don't like this video, AI is going to destroy your entire livelihood and force you to start an OnlyFans where you're rubbing peanut butter on your feet just to get by financially. Oh, and make sure to subscribe. So the four... <laughs> So the fourth step on how to use ChatGPT to make three months of social media content in three hours is to enter this next prompt. My goal is to create short form video content for social media that makes my target avatars know, like, and trust me. Using the GAP framework, please ask me 25 questions for each category of the GAP framework that does this. You can use the information I gave you about me to help, but feel free to ask questions outside of that. The questions asked should set me up so I can answer them with a sound bite that is under 60 seconds. And this is where my method is completely different from others. Instead of getting ChatGPT to write your content, it's going to set you up to answer the questions that make people want to follow you on social media and buy your services or products. Because when you answer questions, the answers are going to be specific to you. So it's going to display your authority and your experiences, which no AI or other creator can replicate. And this is absolutely crucial for building a personal brand that stands out amongst everyone. And not only will the quality be 10 times better than if ChatGPT wrote it, but it's going to be as easy as getting ChatGPT to write it and pump out a ton of content. Let me show you. So as you can see on the screen, there are a ton of questions it's asking me. So let's say I want to create more personal content to build a deeper connection with my audience. I can just tell ChatGPT, hey, ask me more personal questions. Or if I want to get more clients, I can tell it, hey, this is what I'm selling give it information about what you sell. Ask me authority questions that will make people want to buy my service slash product. And boom, ChatGPT will ask you a bunch of questions. It's as easy as telling it to keep asking you questions based on the result you want. And this leads up to the final step where the real magic happens. So the fifth and final step on how to use ChatGPT to make three months of social media content in three hours is to create the content. And all you gotta do are three things. So number one is to compile all the questions you want to answer onto a list. Number two is set up your camera and press record. And number three is either answer the questions directly to the camera, or if it feels less weird to you, you can set things up so it looks like you're or answering someone on a call or podcast. All you got to do with the fake call or podcast is state the question and then answer it. So for example, let's pretend I got the camera recording me and I got my laptop here. All right, so all you got to do to make 10K a month is blah, 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 blah. So it looks like I'm talking to someone on a call or a podcast and it just seems more natural. So I followed all of these steps and made 91 pieces of short form content in just a few hours. But as Billy May says, but wait, <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> you can actually double. You can actually. <laughs> fuck. You can actually take this step further and double the amount of content you produce. All you gotta do after you finish recording your videos is use a video transcriber like Otter AI and upload your videos there. And what that will do is transcribe all the videos into text. And boom, you now have written versions of the content you can publish as emails, long-form written posts, social media descriptions, or carousels. And you might need to edit down the. 
transcripts a little bit to make it a bit more social media friendly, but it doesn't take much work. And I honestly can't believe I just gave this all away for free. So if you got value from this, subscribe because I'm giving away information that's better than people's paid stuff. And if you want to take this information to the next level, watch this video on the screen where I show you how you can implement this into a social media strategy that I use to grow my total audience to over 540,000 followers in under three years.